what is going on guys in this video we are going to learn everything about lazy raw and lazy column in jetpack compose in xml based layout we used to implement recycler view where there was lots of complexity to implement a simple recycler view we have to create an adapter class we have to create a xml class we have to create the model class we have to implement binding methods we have to do a lot of tasks to implement a simple recycler view but in jetpack compose we have composables like lazy column lazy raw we can implement the features like recycler view in some minute as you can see in the demo we have implemented this with some lines of code so we will learn everything about lazy column and lazy raw in this video so let's get started with new android studio project click on new project select empty activity that is jetpack compose activity click on next give the application name let's give list demo app minimum sdk let it be 8.0 and build configuration language let it be recommended one click on finish our project is created let's run and test either our project is created correctly or not so we can say hello world that means it is created correctly let's get back let's say hello to this hello world and delete this also let's delete all the content from here so first thing i will do is i will make a composable let's go to our package new kotlin class file let's name it list demo i will make it in different file it will be file function list demo it will be composable so let's annotate it with composable now from here i will just call this list demo if i run now there will be nothing because we have not written anything let me arrange it side by side so we'll create a list first let's say i have one composable text over here let's write hello easy tutor if i run we can see we have the text so now i want to make a list so how i can do that either you can do one thing let's say column and you can write here text item one in this way copy paste two three four in this way you can create a list you can see we have four items but what if you want to create more items we can't do like this we have to do a loop so let's create a loop over here we have for loop in kotlin how we can do that for i in one two five here we can pass the composable let's say text let's say item and we can concatenate i over here if i run now you can see we have five items that means this is how we can create dynamic list with the for loop let's say if i have 30 here are 30 items so what i will do let's say if i have 100 items then what so there are 100 items over here till 45 we can see other items are below this so we have to scroll it so if we scroll it won't work because we have not set any scroll state so it will stay in the same state always so how we can make them scroll what we can do we can create a variable over here let's say scroll state here we can do remember scroll state in this way we will get the scroll state we can pass this inside column as a modifier modifier dot vertical scroll since this is a column here we can pass the scroll state if you pass this and run this see now it is scrollable we can scroll up to 100 let's design this so that it will look good let's design this and increase the text sizes i will first cut this out from here and create one more composable we can directly create composable using comp shortcut so comp here let's say simple column i'll paste that and i will design text over here so for text what i will do first i will give modifier modifier dot fill max width so that it will take full width and i will give padding around 16 dp import it and i will give text align text align dot center also font size let's give 20 sp if i run now so we have to call here simple column now run you can see you can see all the items till 100 we can scroll it so in this way you can create a list inside column with the composable and you can scroll it but what if list is dynamic that means if list doesn't has a fixed size here we have fixed size 100 but what if you want to load the list from the api or any other source we don't know it will change over time in that case lazy column comes into the picture so we have recycler view in xml there we have to create recycle xml we have to create an adapter class we have to create a model class we have to then set up the recycler view that is very long process but here we have simple composable lazy column and lazy raw we can implement easily so let's see the demo of that first thing here what i will do i will create this text in a different composable so i'll cut this out and here i will create composable text item let's say and paste it over here here i will take the context as a string and here i will pass that text and from here text item text is equal to item index i so it will do the same now what i will do i will create a lazy column let me create another composable that will be lazy but we have lazy column so i will write here lazy column demo i will call this lazy column demo from here now here we are doing column 
here I will do lazy column so this is the composable which is provided lazy column so here we have to pass the content what will be the content it will be the lazy list scope if you go over here in the lazy list scope you can explore this here we can pass item you can pass items with the count and you can pass items indexed as well so we'll try all of them so first here we will try items so we can see items over here you can see here we can pass count so how many items we want here we have done 100 same we will do 100 and we'll pass item content so we have two things mandatory that we have to pass a count and the item content and what will be the item content this is the text so whatever we were doing over here I'll pass text item that we have designed and text will be same index concatenate here we don't have I here we have it you can see over here we have integer that is it now if I run you can see index is start from here we have done from 1 to 100 here index will start from 0 if you do over here 0 it will do the same thing here index is start from 0 that's why from 0 to if you scroll down you can see till 99 that means we have 100 items so in this way lazy column with fixed number of items will work so you will say what is the difference what is the difference between this column and lazy column we can see the same thing over here we can pass same 100 what is the difference as you know what recycler view does whatever you can see on the screen it will just render that only if you scroll down then only it will render the remaining things same thing lazy column will do over here but simple column what it will do it will render all of the item at once I will show you the demo let's write a log over here in the text item let's say log dot i tag will be text item render and let's say text whatever we are passing I will give arrow now first I will call from here simple column let's call this simple column where we are not using lazy column we are only using column let's run it and let's go to the log cat clear this out let's run again so that we can see the log so I will search for text item render so you can see over here from item 1 to 100 it is render at once we have not scrolled and we have not done anything we have 14 items in the screen but all the 100 items are rendered at once if I scroll it you can see 100 items but they are rendered at once so this is how column works it will render all at once but if I call from here lazy column demo and I will clear this out and run again open the log cat you can see over here only till 14 it is rendered because in the screen we can only see 14 items but what if you scroll if you scroll this let's say till 23 then till 25 it is rendered if I scroll it again then only it will increase till 41 in this way it will render dynamically so whatever you see on the screen only those items will be rendered in lazy column so it will boost your performance if you have if you have very complex item let's say images videos you are loading from the API it will load only those which are visible in the screen so this is the benefit of lazy column or lazy row now we will see how item indexed will work here we have seen the items where we are passing the count now we will see how items indexed will work let's say I have list of variable let's say my list list of string so I have list of string let's say a b c d let's say I have this my list so what I can do I will remove this let's remove this we will say item index so here items index we can pass and you can see over here what it takes it takes the list first so I will pass my list comma and then item content here we require two things one is the if you see one is index and one is item so you can click over here we'll get the index of the item that means we'll get first a and then b as an item this item is a string because we have passed as a string this item will be the string so from this item we can call this text item that it will render so here text item let's say so it can be item index item if I run now so from the list of string we created the lazy column where we have passed as item indexed so you can see we have a b c d e f so in this way it will work if we have list let's say if I pass over here list of integer 1 2 3 4 5 and here I will say list of int here we'll get this item as int now so it will concat the int and let's run it you can see we have the list of integer the question may arise either we can pass any type of data or not you can pass any type of data so I will show that demo also let's create a new Kotlin class file let's call it marvel care it will be a data class and here I will create a simple model class care name string let's say name string and let's give a image resource also so image resource it will be int we'll get it from drawable so we have three things in this data class 
if I create a function over here get all Marvel cares and I will return a list from here so list of let's say Marvel care it will return list of Marvel care now here I will create a list let's say first will be character name Thor real name will be Chris Hemsworth and I have image over here let me copy this and paste it in resource a drawable paste it here I'll pass r dot drawable dot Thor I can make another character let's say character name will be Iron Man name will be Robert Downey Jr. and r dot drawable dot I'll copy an image from here let's say dot Iron Man let's say I have two items now I will to display this custom data type so here we were displaying integer string I will I will display custom data type so how I can do that same way here I will create a list of Marvel cares from get all Marvel cares so it will return list of Marvel care that is custom data type now we'll pass the list over here you can see now this item will be type of Marvel care that is our data type so it will be type of Marvel care here we can set the item dot we have three option name character name and resource let's say name and run it you can see we have two items so we'll design this first so we'll design a composable for this single row I'll cut this out and I'll create another composable that will be let's say Marvel item now here we'll first create a row so that we can add image and the names so for that I will create a row in parameter I will take item as Marvel care item type now from here I can call this Marvel item and I can pass the item as item that's it so whatever we will do here it will reflect over here let's say text now item dot name you can see the text so here we'll remove this first I'll use image first painter will be painter resource and ID will be item dot image resource and content description let's say item dot name if I run now you can see we have image now I want to pass modifier so that we can give the fix size modifier I'll first make it circle so clip circle shape size size will be let's say 64 dp and I will scale 1.0 f if I run now now I have image in a row I will create a column so that I can add character name and the name so here I will create column inside row and this column will have two text first text will be item dot care name and we'll give some style so text style font size will be 22 sp and font weight will be font weight dot bold so I have one text I'll copy this paste it below this will be name and here I will give the 18 sp now if I run it you can see image character name and name I'll give some modifier to this row as well so here what I will do modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width I'll give padding as 16 dp and also for this column I'll give modifiers so modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width and padding will be 8 dp and horizontal alignment will be alignment dot start if I run you can see it is looking good now we, we can remove this bold from the name so we have two items as of now let's add more items so that we can make it scrollable so I'll type one by one I'll copy all the images from here paste in the drawable now if I run I can scroll it I have 13 14 items and I can scroll over here this is how we can create a simple lazy column list in jetpack compose here we can see we have just created a lazy column pass the item and we have designed the item over here so with only this much of code we have implemented entire recycler view in jetpack compose now one last thing if you want anything clickable so how we can do that you can make the image clickable text clickable I'll make the entire row clickable so here this is a row and here we can do in the modifier we can directly call clickable and in this clickable we can do anything we can log things we can show a toast so let's show a toast dot make text we need context so let's add context equals to local context dot current here let's pass context and let's say clicked item dot name toast dot length dot sort dot so if I run now so here if I click any items so this is will be clicked Chris Evans clicked Mark Ruffalo clicked Paul Rod so it will work like this so however lazy column has worked same way lazy row will work if you want our list in horizontal and it will be scrollable in that case lazy row will work so what is the difference between lazy column and column column will render all item at once but lazy column will render only whatever we see on the screen I hope you have learned a lot of things from this single video 
if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye